Hey, welcome back to the Theta Survive channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Robby One H3 Pro. This is a really unique flashlight because it takes AA batteries, or it also has a lithium battery built in, so it's rechargeable. And so since we're talking about rechargeable batteries, I'm going to be showing you the XTAR BC8 battery charger. So we'll be getting back into that here in a bit. This flashlight, it's really convenient because it kind of solves the issue or the dilemma debate between having a rechargeable flashlight or to have a flashlight with AA, AAA batteries. I know a lot of people who prefer a flashlight with AA, AAA batteries because it has a, they both have their pros. Uh, they both have their cons. Um, a AA, AAA battery, you can at any time basically just pull out the battery and, and swap it. And you have again a full, a full charge. Whereas a rechargeable battery, a chargeable uh, flashlight, like this one here, it takes USB-C. Um, you actually have to stop and plug it in. Um, and so, like I said, they both have their pros and their cons. And this flashlight is a hybrid. It actually has both. So let me go ahead and show you that before I get into the flashlight. So on the back here, you unscrew this. And you have this little port you pull out. And we're going to be using a AA battery here from XSTAR. So you just pop that in. Yep, I know it's done. Don't worry, people. And slide it back in. It has a big arrow indicating which direction it goes. So that's rather convenient. All right, so just like that, now we have a AA battery in here, and we also have the lithium battery. All right, so the max output is 600 lumens, so it's not too bad for a flashlight of this size. Um, by the way, speed size, this is right around 6 inches, uh, so it's actually a fairly uh, long flashlight. If you want a visual comparison next to a 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife, you can see it's fairly long. All right, it, the body of it is actually made from aluminum. So it makes it rather lightweight. Um, it has this removable clip. So you just pull right here, you can take it off if you don't want the clip. And then also something interesting that I don't quite understand is they call this a tactical ring, which I'm not exactly sure um, why they call it a tactical ring. It doesn't really stop it from rolling. I guess maybe a little. It's not quite square enough to do that. And I thought maybe it was like to hold a lanyard, but there's no, there's no hole in it. It is removable. You just basically would reach out of here and pull it open. It comes right off. But for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. Going to snap this all back on. All right. The next thing we're going to do is this flashlight is, is supposed to be IPX7, which means that it's waterproof up to a meter. And so while I show you this battery charger, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and toss it in the water. Let it just go ahead and soak. All right. So this is the XTAR BC8. Uh, battery charger and what's really cool about it first of all is that it is USB-C rechargeable and so all you do is you'd maybe have a cable at home just hook that up it's gonna light up and so the next cool thing about it is that you can actually charge like on my, on my other battery charger that I have you have to have four AA batteries in there at the same time for it to charge whereas with this charger you can charge just one um, or if you want you can actually charge two at the same time and so that's another thing that I couldn't do in my previous battery charger, was I couldn't have AAA and AA at the same time. I had to have either four AAAs or four AA's, which is kind of inconvenient because you have to, I had to go through my house, find you know AA batteries, find four of them, put them in here, just not in here, but put them in the battery charger to charge up one battery. Whereas this one, like I said, is convenient. I kind of gathered up some batteries to my house. And so you can kind of just randomly put them in here. They can be in any order and so in my opinion that is super convenient being able to charge different types like the double a triple at the same time different different amounts of them and kind of no-brainer whenever it's charged this light will turn red and with this big cutout in the back it's easy to remove the batteries once they're charged you just push in the back and it comes right out whereas again on my previous battery charger i had to dig in there with my fingernail try to, to reach and get the battery back out so anyways Really convenient um, battery charger. And if you have a flash that takes a rechargeable AA battery, then of course, that's really convenient to have. And so be sure to check them out. I believe there's still a startup, but I'll include links to this. And so if you're interested, be sure to, to check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. See how our flashlight's doing. Apparently it didn't die on us while it was in the water. That's already good, right? 
Move to the side. All right, so what we want to check is we want to see if there's any water here under the lens. And there is not. So that's dry in there. And we'll check the port. All right, it looks dry in there. Good. And we'll take the battery out one more time. All right. And it's dry in there. All right, so that's good. And again, the IPX7 is actually for a meter of water. And so that literally is just like a little splash of water. And so it's not a really tough test for it. All right, so like I said, this is 700 lumens. And so <clears throat> I'll go and I'll show you the how the battery works and not the battery, the buttons all work. Then we'll go outside and we'll test. I'll show you the brightness outside. All right, so the big button in the back, kind of obvious, you turn it on and it immediately goes to the max output. That goes to 700 lumens. Uh, if you hold it down half, you can swap to the strobe and go back to the max output. So that's all that this back, back, back button does is just turns it on to the max output. And then this button towards the front, if you hold it down for three seconds, let me turn this off so you guys can see it. If you hold it down for three seconds, it turns green. And what that means is that the bat that the flashlight is now uh, on double A. If you hold that again, it'll go back to blue. And this light, you can't really tell, but that's blue. And that means you're back on the lithium battery. All right, then the other thing this front button does is when you double click it, you will get a moonlight, which again, this overhead light you can't see. There we go. So you get your moonlight, and you can scroll through the different brightnesses. So, get brighter, and up to the max output. All right, and then back down to the, the lowest, which is, the, it's a 0 0.5 lumen for the moonlight. And the nice thing is it has memory, and so whatever was the last setting you had it on, we turn it back on, it'll go back to that. All right, so let's go ahead, we'll take this outside, and I'll show you the brightness of it outside in the dark, and then we'll be back in to finish up the review. First of all, let's go ahead and start with the, the max output. So that's the maximum. So you can see, more than enough, it's fairly bright. Something I noticed is if you change it over to the AA battery, pulling the button now, so you see it's green now, means it's the AA. It's not quite as bright. I don't know if you can tell the difference on the camera or not. But it's just a tidbit, I think, dimmer that way. Right, we'll change back to the lithium battery. All right, and then here is the moonlight. So you can see in the dense, it's nothing. Put up my head. Then you can scroll through to brighter settings. The max output, and then back down to just the moonlight. All right. So that was, that was a brightness test. So again, not bad for a flashlight of its size. So one more thing that I missed is what it comes with. So you have the USB to USB-C cable. And here you have the lanyard, some spare uh, rubber seals, and it comes with a bit of paracord. All right, so that's all for this flashlight. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think this tactical ring is for. Because I, I definitely have no clue. And also, let me know what you think about the XR BC8. And I'll be sure to include links to all this down in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.